being asked to prove that this function is differentiable on the coordinate axes but is nowhere analytic. Let's go ahead and try to prove this. So proof. So we'll start by looking at the real part and the imaginary part of f and try to see when the cauchy riemann equations hold. So set u of x, y equal to the real part of f. So that will be x cubed plus 3x y squared minus 3x. And we'll set v of x, y equal to the imaginary part of f. So that's y cubed plus 3x squared y minus 3y. And now let's go ahead and compute the first partial derivatives of u and v. So del u, del x, see we're treating y as constant, so here x cubed is going to give us 3x squared. And treating y as constant, this is just going to give us 3y squared. And then the derivative of minus 3x is minus 3. Likewise, del v, del y, that's going to be 3y squared. And the derivative, oops, I copied this down wrong. And the derivative of 3x squared y is simply 3x squared. And here, this derivative here is minus 3. Now we'll compute del u del y. See, del u del y, well, this derivative is going to be 0. This one is 0, so we're going to get 6xy. And then del v del x. Well, let's see, that's simply going to be 6xy also. So this function is differentiable if and only if all of the first partial derivatives are continuous and the Cauchy-Riemann equations hold. So then f is differentiable at, say, z equals x plus iy if and only if all of these guys are continuous. I won't write that part down. But they have to be, and they are, if and only if they're continuous and the Cauchy-Riemann equations hold. So what does that mean? That means that del u, del x, is equal to del v, del y. And that's clearly true. These are exactly the same. And del u, del y, is equal to negative del v, del x. Now, these aren't exactly equal. Right. Here we have 6xy, and here we have uh, 6xy, but when you put a negative sign here, things change. So this happens if and only if 6xy is equal to the opposite of 6xy. So 6xy is equal to minus 6xy. And this happens if and only if 12xy is equal to 0, which happens if and only if x is equal to 0, or x is equal to y. So the Cauchy-Riemann equations hold, and the partials are continuous, if and only if x is equal to 0, or y is equal to 0. In other words, the function is differentiable on the coordinate axes. Right? When x is 0, we're looking at this line here. And when y is 0, we're looking at this line here. So therefore, so therefore, f is differentiable on the coordinate axes. Now we still have to show that it's nowhere analytic. That's kind of just like a remark. Um, it should be clear that it's nowhere analytic because open uh, straight st straight lines are not open sets in the in the complex plane. So note f is nowhere analytic because lines are not open sets, right, are not open sets in the complex plane. Right? We know it's differentiable only on these lines. And for a function to be analytic, it has to be differentiable on an open set. So if I pick a point here, uh, yeah, this is not an open set. In fact, there's no open set around this point um, on which it's analytic either. So I hope that helps.